A long time ago, in a movie studio far, far away, George Lucas read Joseph Campbell's book, Hero of a Thousand Faces. And not just a star was born, but Star Wars were born. And epic journeys exploded onto the big screen. But before we look at the hero's journey, let's look at the Hollywood hero. Writers often connect heroes symbolically. In Kill Bill, Uma Thurman wore a yellow jumpsuit as a tribute to Bruce Lee, who wore one in his last movie. Connected heroes share skills and a warrior state of mind, which I call Genghis consciousness. <laughs> and now the journey. There are two types. One is physical. The hero, the hero has to take something, destroy something. What the hero is willing to do is the most important thing in life and more important than life. But something always stands in the way. In the other type of journey, the hero comes back with a message. For example, Glenda the Good Witch helped Dorothy realize the power to go home was always within her. As for Dorothy's message, I was raised in Kansas, so I know it's absolutely true, which is why I live in Montana. <laughs> the hero's journey has three phases, separation, initiation, and return. Men in Black does a great job putting these into action as Agent J becomes a full-fledged alien busted man in black. Each phase has stages listed at the top of the following slides. In film, the hero's call to adventure happens in the first 10 to 15 minutes. Circumstance completely spins the hero in a new direction. The best advice is Yogi's advice. To the hero, the, force le the fork less traveled is the call to adventure. However, Odysseus and Achilles initially refused the call to the Trojan War. Odysseus feigned insanity. Achilles dressed as a woman. Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> Why hesitate? The hero knows what he may lose. He doesn't know what he might gain. But ultimately, the hero leaves home. Kal-El, who became Superman, is often compared to Moses. Their parents trusted that their boys would find safety with strangers. But unlike Moses, when Kal-El's spaceship crashed in Kansas in 1938, it spawned the tornado that carried Dorothy to Oz. <laughs> Supernatural help comes only after the hero begins the quest. Magic gives the hero snowball a chance in hell. In Back to the Future, it was magic when lightning struck a DeLorean. Magic the DeLorean never had by itself, despite what the car maker said. With the familiar far behind, heroes stumble around a new reality with new rules. Even gods don't have all the right answers when Earth becomes their underworld, full of new dangers and demons, including men in suits and chickens. These lead to the hero, these lead the hero to the good, the bad, and the beautiful. Mentors test, tormentors torment. They may even work together to try to stop the hero which makes temptation so tempting. These tests drive the hero into the dark night. It might last 127 hours where the hero cuts off his own arm, 1,500 days stranded, or 12 years a slave or more. Sometimes all we can do is sing a happy song, which we'll do at intermission. A symbolic death often ends the dark night. George Lucas uses a symbolic death in films because he planned to be a professional driver until he was almost killed in a race. He went back to school to study film, realizing his near death gave him new life, which is why Lucas gave Luke Skywalker new life as a Jedi. But, as Yogi Berra also said, it ain't over till it's over. Luke still had to get past his father, who blocked the way to his goal. All I ever did that was even close to this was to try to beat my dad at ping pong. <laughs> Let's say the hero gets past his dad and all the Panzer takes. And let's say the prize is almost in hand, but won't leave. Saving Private Ryan features this part of the journey. 
Heroes get caught in a crossfire of cross purposes, making success almost impossible. But when it comes, success is precious. In our critical thinking seminars, students learn to question deeply. Without critical thinking, a student might ask, if Frodo wants to be invisible, can he just drink tequila? With critical thinking, students question the power power brings. At least we hope they do. As we've seen, heroes take hits when they pursue something beautiful, such as olive oil, or when pursued by something bad, such as Bluto. So, a hero may need outside help. Rescue comes from eagles, goddesses, spinach, whatever the hero attracts. And finally, the hero attempts the last steps home to share the riches of the journey. Known as the magic flight, it can be just as hard as anything the hero has faced before. This picture from Stardust suggests the return often carries some kind of duality. That duality brings the mastery of two worlds. It blends something material, be it fire or an Iron Man suit, with something ethereal, perhaps wisdom or music. According to myth, this is how man, woman, and culture evolve. But a hero's work is never done, so Hollywood offers sequels. Sunsets are code for sequel, except in Supergirl's case, as she was flying away from it and there was no sequel. But as long as we have sunsets, we'll have heroes riding off into them with the promise to be, find, and bring back something more. Thank you very much.